On today's episode, opposed pistons offer new clean life for old diesel technology. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. While electric power is all the rage in transportation these days, the simple fact is that the world is decades away from the point at which EVs form the majority of vehicles in the fleet. Now, this is particularly true of trucking, where the need for reliable power with maximum uptime is paramount. And trucks, of course, mean diesel engines. Now, compression ignition is the most efficient form of piston engine propulsion, and in modern computer-controlled and turbocharged form, they represent the lowest CO2 emissions possible per horsepower of output. But CO2 is only one measure of engine emissions. Carbon monoxide has been addressed with catalytic converters, which ironically convert the dangerous monoxide to CO2, but oxides of nitrogen are under increasing scrutiny. Nitrogen oxides, generically abbreviated as NOx or NOx by automotive engineers, though they're a major contributor to photochemical smog in cities. And even before the Environmental Protection Agency established strict limits, California's Air Resources Board created unique state regulations. Since the 1970s, the progressive tightening of emission standards in California, including diesels, has resulted in an increasingly complex suite of after-treatment technologies added to compression ignition engines, from complex selective catalytic converter systems to urea injection. Now, while these systems work, the CARB's 2027 regulation requires a 90% reduction in NOx emissions compared to current levels. Now, today, no engine manufacturer, with one exception, has demonstrated a diesel engine that can achieve these ultra-low emissions figures. The exception is a heavy-duty diesel created by Acades Power as part of a demonstration team led by Pasadena-based green energy nonprofit CalStart. The diesel is a modern take on an old diesel technology, the opposed piston engine. First introduced as an airplane engine in 1932 by the German Junkers company, a post-piston diesels operate like two inline engines facing each other at the cylinder head parting line, with the combustion chamber formed by opposite pistons compressing the intake air charge. Two crankshafts are used which are coupled together for final drive. Even 90 years ago, the system was noted for fuel efficiency, and when combined with modern computer-controlled fuel injection and advanced materials, the Acadis Power test engine features low heat and pumping losses compared to conventional designs. Now, NOx control has traditionally been difficult due to the very nature of the combustion process. As every first-year engineering student knows, engine efficiency is correlated with delta T, and hotter combustion temperatures are better. And with 78% of the atmosphere composed of nitrogen, those high combustion chamber temperatures form an ideal chemical reactor to create nitrogen oxides. Now, early systems reduce combustion chamber temperatures with simple exhaust gas recirculation, and current engines combine computer-controlled EGR with urea after treatment. The low heat loss Acades test unit allows a very precise control of combustion chamber temperatures, permitting a significant reduction in generated NOx with conventional aftertreatment technologies. An additional benefit of the opposed piston design is fast catalytic converter light off during warm up and consistent exhaust gas temperatures during varying driving conditions. The opposed piston engine can be manufactured with conventional machining technologies, and with greater efficiency, it coincidentally reduces CO2 by 10%. Part of CARB certification is endurance testing, and the unit is currently in fleet service with Walmart in a Peterbilt 579 highway tractor. Test engines are currently operating with aged catalysts, the equivalent of 800,000 miles of road operation, to meet the endurance requirements. With ultra-low emissions and greater fuel efficiency, opposed piston diesels might give the trucking industry a viable, clean option until battery technology improves. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.